Greetings, Weight Watchers and friends. It's Love With It To Love Me. And I'm coming to you with drama. <laughs> I'm sorry. Today is nine, day 99 of the Fit To Love 100 exercise challenge. And I don't know if you can tell, but this is the kitchen and I'm on the floor. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I don't mean to alarm you, but my back has gone out. And I'm glad that I said it that way because it sounds so normal, okay, people's back go out. I'm glad I said it that way because I've been here freaking out, you know, like, what the heck? But I just give thanks for the fact that I can move a little bit. I was able to put on my bra and my pajamas my daughter brought my bra for me because i don't know how i'm gonna get off this floor so somebody has to come get me i was able to put on my dress long dress and um <sighs> this is real life y'all and it's like it's so dramatic but it's, i wanted to come and talk to you and tell you what's going on. <laughs> it's funny because I was make, gonna make another video explaining to the people in the Fit to Love 100 group why I decided to basically close that group and join with Sheena's. And while I'm here, I don't have nothing. I have nothing else to do. I might as well just tell you that the reason is because. There were only a few people posting to the group. Um, many of them were reaching, uh, approaching day 100. I mean, there's not, there were only a few, but so a large percentage of the few were, are approaching, still approaching day 100. Ah, are on day 100 when you see this. This is day 100. And I didn't want the people who are left posting and active to not have the support that we had. I'm going to continue, and but only a couple people are going to continue, and I just felt like, and I didn't know, like, I didn't know at the time that Lori was going to continue, I didn't know that Vanessa was going to continue, but Lori doesn't post in the Fit to Love 100 group, which is fine, <laughs> you know, I'm just saying there are a lot, you know, there are other people who participate who don't post in the Fit to Love 100 group, and so the reason why I closed the Facebook page um, it's also because when I was looking at Sheena's group, is she, they only had a few people posting and it's like, my whole purpose in doing this is for, for, was for us to get support, people to comment and like, and tell you, keep going, you can do this, you can, you know, don't worry, I know that you got sick, I know that you stumbled, I know that you are freaking laying on the floor, and you don't know how you're going to finish day 100, but I'm going to find a way to finish day 100. I don't give if I have to move my feet for 25 minutes. I'm going to engage in 25 minutes of continuous activity. I'm just like, I know y'all are just like, that's crazy. But I just pray that before, before this day is over, I find a way to do that. And as a matter of fact, I'm sitting here. If I had, if I could see what time it is, I would start moving my feet now, but I'm going to do it. So anyway, I wanted everybody to have support. I, it's not about like abandoning the people of the group, you know. In fact, it's quite the opposite. I wanted the people to not be abandoned and not feel like they were on their own and not just be like in a ghost town when everybody, when other people stopped posting. Plus the fact that, like I said, people were not really posting that much anyway. So it was kind of like dwindling down in a little bit, but I didn't want things to just fizzle out like that without my doing something to help. I feel like, you know, I started the group and it's my responsibility to see that it is, it lands safely in a place where people have support. So anyway, I hope that when my husband comes home, he'll be able to help me get off this floor. <laughs> and I will find a way to 
engage in continuous physical activity for at least 25 minutes some kind of way like i see my feet like this i don't know if you can see them but you can't tell behind the thing but yeah i could at least do this this is ridiculous i know this is so ridiculous people i'm so sorry it's so i told you it's drama but you know what the devil is a liar i am gonna finish this hundred days lord willing as long as god is willing as long as the spirit within me is willing and right now it is consciously willing i'm going to finish this 100 days so this is my 100 day <laughs> challenge video okay so my husband came <laughs> and he helped me up off the floor i was like Ugh. and i was able to go to the bathroom and walk in here and i was standing on my feet for a while and i was like uh oh i started to feel like the pain come again while i was standing so i just lay myself down so i don't have to be laid down by the pain and so you see all this mess in here oh these are all clean clothes that i had to wash all my clothes over again from the move but our dryer we thought was broken so for like six days oh my gosh it's been a long time <gasps> It's been, so for like six days, we weren't able to wash clothes. So now, you know, all, you know, you wash everything from the move. So there's stuff all over the place. So there's that drama. <laughs> anyway, I don't know what I'm going to do. So I don't see how I can stand on my feet for 25 minutes to exercise, but I'm going to do something. Do they have laying down exercises? <laughs> I kind of feel like I'm in like in the twilight zone. This is like so crazy. So my husband is sleeping. My daughter finished heating up my food for me, which is a four point uh, quesadilla and two points worth of almond butter on top of that banana. My back is still hurting like crazy. I've gotten up, I did my, you know, I did my hair, I tried to sit on the couch, it's crazy, so my husband's going to take me to the doctor, and I don't know what I'm going to do for 25 minutes straight, like seriously, I was like, I told you, I think I told you about kicking my legs, but I'm in a lot of pain, I guess I could do something with my arms. For 25 minutes, my arms are not that strong. Seriously. W-T-H-E-C-K. am I going to do? <laughs> hey, it's good to have humor. My daughter was like, I was like, how come you didn't come check on me? She was like, uh, you were talking to the people on YouTube, so apparently you're fine. I mean, I, mean, I just love, do I just love to talk that much that I could just talk through pain and eat? Because you see, I got my food, right? And I'm not kidding. Like, I'm in a lot of pain, like, for real. But thank God it's not worse. You know what I'm saying? Obviously, if I can eat, if I can talk to you guys, it could be way worse. So I'm just grateful that it's not. So the other thing I wanted to say is thank God. Excuse me. Thank goodness for I have hiccups. Thank goodness for freezer cooking because I have a few more pieces of food left, you know, from the freezer. I think this is like my last, like, I think I have one more meal. Um, but thank goodness for freezer cooking because I have real food to eat right now. I'm so sorry about the messy room. I'm sorry because I, I have to live in this mess now because I feel like, okay, I can't clean it up it's so crazy i just need to just get still after i eat and figure out like what in the world is this come to teach me so we're headed to the doctor's office Of 
first, but I'm just grateful that I was able to walk out of the building, and, you know, of my own, on my own strength, on my own legs. You know, because when I was on that floor, I didn't know how I was gonna get out or get up. <laughs> so I'm grateful. I just really want some pain medication. I have my x-ray from when I went like a couple weeks ago. So hopefully they won't have to send me to x-ray and all that kind of stuff. I just want some, I guess want some pain medication or something that likes to stop the, stop the pain. We're gonna say stop the inflammation, but you know, stop the pain. Like we're driving along the, the sea there. So, hopefully, I'll get some relief soon. And I'm still trying to figure out how to get my 25 minutes in. It's no joke. <laughs> so, the doctor said that, I don't know, if you have sciatica or whatever it is, it's like inflammation and that not to get any deep tissue massage, but... But I can't go to the chiropractor and I actually did find a chiropractor because Lori told me to find a chiropractor. I'm still afraid to go, but what I'm gonna do is take my pain medication and um, we don't know where our heat, heat compress is, so we're gonna try and find that. But basically, I'm gonna end this vlog whenever I get my 25 minutes done and I'm gonna post it and it's gonna be my because of 100 day 100. And I'm going to see about what I can do about a chiropractor because I want to go into day 101. So we shall see what day one. What's day one? No, it's not going to be day one tomorrow. It's going to be day 101. He's like <laughs> trying to tease me, say I'm not going to finish today. Yes, I am. And then I have to start over. Yes, I am. <laughs> Funny how everything happens for a reason and all things work together for good. I said to Lori, oh, I'm afraid to go. Lori, this is Lori from Fit and Fabulous Mamas. I'm just saying, check out their page if you don't already follow, which I'm sure you do, duh, right? So she said, I said, oh, I'm afraid to go. And she said, basically, she wrote back and said, uh, go. She didn't say it like that, but she just, like, you know, told the story about how the other day that she had back pain and she went and, you know, got her adjustment. She was able to finish her challenge. So, um, then, so I called the, the doctor just now and... I didn't know where it was and it turned out like we're passing we don't even know that neighborhood or whatever it turns out we were passing that neighborhood right then and the lady couldn't give me the address she was like oh it's next to the champion gym and I was like well where is that and my husband was like I know where that is and then we were like right there so here we are then I was like well I didn't, I didn't put lotion on my feet my 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 I need socks I don't have socks my daughter was like well I have a pair of socks in the car so here we are in the building that my husband's very familiar with because this is where their company comes to take care of their medical stuff, global med. So it all works out. I took my pain pill and I'm ready to go. They have TVs in the wall now, just like in that. What was that? Was that um? What was that? That movie about the future? Fair. It wasn't Fahrenheit 361. You know, Big Brother's watching. Yeah, I'm in the walls. This camera keeps going off. Anyway, we're here at the mall to pick up Allie's laptop. I'm gonna get my 25 minutes in while I'm here. I'm gonna just walk for 25 minutes. I already took um, one like pill, milso relaxes or, 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 or whatever. And I don't feel any different, but maybe I feel a little tiny bit better. I'm not sure. But anyway, I'm going to get 25 minutes in some kind of way of walking. So, I might be shuffling, but I'm gonna be engaging in 25 minutes of continuous movement today. Day 100 of the Fit to Love 100. 
So my husband is trying to find a parking space and I am limping around, limping along and it's 6.40 and I'm gonna be limping along till 7.05 and that's gonna be my 25 minutes. Watch and see though. But Miracle Shop Follow Miracle and Wonder Shall Never Cease because when I tell you I didn't know how I was gonna get up off that floor, that's not a joke. And if I showed you the video that I made before, <laughs> Before the video you saw, it was nothing nice. <laughs> All right, it's love 100, day 100 in full effect. All right, so I just made it, and you know, <laughs> the best incentive is food, right? So we're in Red Lobster. I literally walked into Red Lobster and sat down right after as I mean my 25 minutes I need them to drive the car right up in here to pick me up so I'll show you what I eat and the 1100 day 100 is done for me oh my gosh so we got the cheddar bay biscuits and they look so good they're like hot and fresh like perfectly made, not like the last place we went. So, you know, they, they probably have better biscuits. Huh? They probably have better biscuits. Yeah, it varies by location, so, but this, this is a nice location, I guess. But, I mean, the other one is fine enough. I don't see anything wrong with it, but. Huh? Yeah, the other one was set so high. I was in a lot of pain until the biscuits came. What he got. I didn't even know when the lady brought it to the table. I was like, who ordered that? <laughs> so this is what I took. A half piece of the coconut shrimp and one of the, what is it, bang bang shrimp? Bang bang typhoon. Bang bang typhoon, whatever they call it at this store. So this is, oh, and this is uh, unsweetened tea with lemon in it. So you know how it is. You can eat a little some, something something without going overboard. Yay. Wow, they put a lot of, they put a lot of sauce on this pasta. My goodness, a lot of sauce. I didn't know they put it on top like that. I could have said light pasta, light sauce. Anyway, this is the food. This is the dinner. This is what's going down today. And I'm not mad at it. This is what I have left. Take that an appetizing thing out of the way. So basically, half of the pasta, I eat all the salmon. There's still vegetables left, and then I have my baked potato in there. Big girl's dream. They gave me this complimentary. Alexis bought that, or asked for that, and they gave us complimentary dessert. And I just did what I wanted. So I'm gonna taste some, but can you imagine? In my other life, I would've been so happy. In this life, I'm like, oh no. <laughs> okay so i'm back home and my daughter helped set me up she put you know we had those like mattress pads it's like a like it's like a small mattress kind of thing <laughs> so i have my rug i have my a comforter on top of it i have a mattress pad and then a comforter that's pretty pretty okay oh i need my backpack i need the back pad inside of the medicine the medicines right there it's a medicine bag <laughs> see right there so my husband says that the reason why my back is hurting so much is because i did the other extra 25 minutes of walking in the mall so I don't know what's gonna happen tomorrow I really hope to start 100 days over again but might not because my back really hurt really badly after those 25 minutes but mm -hmm. I don't know hopefully I will I really want to so I'm, that means I'm jump, dropping out of the 366 day challenge. It's really cool. So it's D2S366, 
which is different and cool because it's a uh, it's leap year, which is totally cool. It's like 366 day challenge only comes once every four years. That's freaking awesome. So definitely, Lori Vera. I don't know. I think that's it. Who's doing it? So D two S three sixty six. Bye. Thank you. All right. So that's it. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. <laughs> if you did, give it, please give us a thumb. Give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think by leaving a comment below. And if you're new to my channel, I'd love to have you join me. So please click the subscribe button. My name is Love. The channel's fit to love me, and everything I do can be found in the description box below. Although there's not much there anymore since the Fit to Love 100 challenge is over. Thanks so much for watching. Join us on the Determined Dissatisfied 100 Day Challenge. She, she said, mwah, mwah, mwah. Mm -hmm. Ciao.